Joining us now to walk us through Iran's thinking is someone who knows them fairly well, Gabriel Nerona, former State Department advisor on Iran. Gabriel, welcome back. Thanks. Always a pleasure to be back here. Well, uh, lots to catch up on in this region. What is Iran's current ultimate goal in the region? I know that we have a long-form goal. Their long-form goal is to get rid of Israel. But how has, have their goals shifted in the last month? You know what, their medium term goal has always been to kick the United States out of the region so that they can dominate their countries, their neighbors, and then again, push Israel into the sea is how they say it. Um, what they've seen now is though that Israel has the ability to strike inside Iran with near impunity. They have mm -hmm. the ability to their senior officials, um, bombing the apartments they're staying at, uh, striking with very great precision. And so what Iran is trying to do right now is just gain a little bit of a semblance of security. One thing that they've pledged is they've said every time that Iran, that Israel strikes inside Iranian territory, Iran is going to strike back from their own territory, whether that's with missiles, drones, cruise missiles. And so that's what we're sort of waiting to see now if they make good on that pledge. How... Uh how shocked are you by their response? I know that they're fairly predictable, but it seems that they're increasingly confident that Russia and China will have their back. How realistic is that confidence on their side? You know, I think what Iran has realized in the last few years is that there's this coalition of partners that wants to overthrow the United States and that they can have more security there. I remember 10, 15 mm -hmm. years ago, Iran was basically on its own. Uh, even Russia was, at, was right. adding an to sanctions on Iran. That's completely switched now. Um, Russia has pledged to do military sales to Iran. So I think Iran believes it has this backstop that Russia and China would not allow it to get overthrown or even allow the United States and Israel to do too much inside their own country. How does Ukraine potentially play into all of this? I know that um, Russia has has maintained its contacts inside Iran. They've been there's a drone relationship there, drone technology relationship there. Um, there's an oil relationship that is occurring between Iran and China and Russia and their allies. Um, how does the calculation change if, uh, say, there's a resolution? to the conflict in Ukraine, supposing, you know, Trump takes office and he, as he promises, gets rid of that conflict in 24 hours somehow. Um, how do you think that actually affects the Middle East? So one of the things that we saw at the beginning of the war was it pushed Iran and Russia's military closer together. Russia needed partners to help build weapons, munitions. Uh, mm -hmm. And so Iran sent thousands of drones and now they're building a, a co-production facility a uh, hundred miles east of Moscow. What we might see if there, if that war ends is that Russia is actually going to have the ability to repay that favor. Uh, Russia had pledged lots of military planes and helicopters, but they haven't been able to deliver any of them because they're busy fighting their own war. Um, what we've also seen is that the attempts to sort of rejoin uh, their economies through their oil trade hasn't worked nearly as, as well as they thought, partly because U.S. sanctions on Russia have made it quite difficult. So if the war ends, we're likely to see Western sanctions end um, and, and this partnership will become easier in many ways, but they're also gonna have a little less on the military front to coordinate. So some good stuff, some bad stuff. Either way, I think what we've seen is these allies are now in it for the long haul, no matter what happens with this war. Um, they've realized they're strategic partners and they've realized the common enemy of the United States um, is so powerful that they have to band together. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.